So now in this video, we're gonna make a simple circuit called a comparator with the 747 op amp. This is the LM747. And so here you can see, we're gonna have an 18 volt power supply connected to this when I turn the power on. So to the rails, and then these jumpers, they come from uh, these jumpers, and then these jumpers give the power from this rail also to that rail. And so you can see we have a voltage divider here, equal value resistors, one from the negative rail, the other from the positive rail will get half of that voltage, 9 volts, to the non-inverting input. The inverting input, top pin, so non-inverting is 2 down. The uh, top pin is the inverting input, and uh, that will give us negative feedback from the output, which is third pin down. We have to power this op amp, second pin down, and then uh, this op amp, second pin up. So they're mirror images of each other. And so we have the output here. Uh, this will be our virtual ground, it'll be 0 volts, and then we'll have 9 volts to the positive rail, 9 volts to the negative rail. It's going to split the uh, voltages because we want to be able to either sink current or source current from uh, here so that we can alternate the direction of the current. Now, the LEDs are wired up as polarity indicators. So the uh, resistor to that output comes here, so a long lead anode. To the resistor short lead the cathode up to our virtual ground jumper there and then this is the opposite the uh, short lead the cathode is to the output there through the resistor long lead the anode to our virtual ground so that it lights up when the output is more negative has to be a high enough voltage though to get them to conduct so all we have to do now is wire up our comparator circuit and uh, really simple so first we're going to set a voltage to the inverting input, which is going to be 0 volts. So this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. The exact value is not uh, important, but it's 10 kilo ohm resistor. And so it's not going to send any current, any noticeable current, just a very, very small amount of leakage. Mostly it's just going to get the voltage to that inverting input. So second pin up is the non-inverting input. That's where we're going to give our signal. So we're going to make that with the trim pot. There we go. That's it for the wiring. I'm going to turn the power on and you can see that the red LED is lit up right now. That's because the trim pot is more than halfway. Remember we have half of the power supply voltage as our virtual ground. This is closer to the positive side. As soon as I turn it to the negative side we have as much as the output will go towards the negative rail and it doesn't go all the way we lose a couple volts a little more than a couple volts to the negative rail and then we lose one volt to the positive rail so it doesn't output the whole way but we definitely have a high output right now red LED is lit this is closer to the positive rail and now we go right down there and it is more negative so it's just comparing the uh, voltages at the input so we have zero volts there. Right now, we have less than zero volts. It's lower, so we have a negative output, a low output. And uh, we go a little more positive than zero volts. We have a positive output. And we can quickly take some multimeter measurements of that. So we'll go to voltage. First off, I do this in a lot of my videos because I don't have a split power supply, but we made our virtual ground. So here you can see we have 18 volts at the rail, but now if I go to this uh, jumper that goes to the output of that top uh, amp, that's our zero volt reference point now, thanks to uh, those two resistors. Now we have a positive nine and a negative nine volts in relationship to that. So that's what this other op amp is looking at. As far as this op amp is concerned, that is the ground and it has a positive power supply and a negative. These share a negative power supply but uh, that's the middle pin pin number four but each one is powered independently by the positive side of the power supply and then so third pin up is the output the resistor so it either goes as close to the positive rail or the negative rail as it can as an output but the main takeaway is right now in relationship to virtual ground you can see the trim pod is more positive 2.5 as soon as it gets more negative
you can see it's negative uh, 2.9 volts but the output is staying the same you can see that the LEDs are not changing their brightness let's go back to that so right now it's in the negative it's probably 6.4 uh, volts right there a little you know pretty much spot on 6.3 and uh, that's as much as it's going to stay as long as the trim pod is negative once the trim pod gets more positive as we measured before it outputs 8 volts so if you're going to rely on this circuit for something you got to be aware of those voltages but ultimately it's the high or low signal that we are uh, concerned about in this circuit as a comparator so that's it uh, hope that all made sense thanks for watching I will see you in the next video